Hey, welcome back to the fourth lesson of our zigzag series. In the last lesson, I showed you how to continue creating platform segments as the ball rolls along the path. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to make the platform start falling as the ball rolls over them, and also how to delete old platforms once they go off the view of the camera. So to get started, let's open up our platform script that we created in the last video. Now once you have this script open, the first thing that we're going to do is add two more variables up at the top. The first one is going to be a rigid body, and I'm going to call it my RB. And the next one is going to be a transform, and I'm going to call it ball transform. Now the next thing that we need to do is initialize our rigid body variable, and I'm going to do this within the start function. So I'm going to type my RB equals and then git component. And we're going to look for a rigid body and then parentheses semicolon. Now we need to initialize our ball transform variable. And we're going to do this within the on collision enter function. So when we collide with the ball, we want to get the transform of the ball and save it into this variable. Now what we need to do is initialize our ball transform variable and we'll do this within our on collision enter function. So right inside our first if statement, I'm going to type ball transform equals and then we're going to get the transform of the collision. So I'm going to type collision dot transform. Once we have these variables initialized, let's handle the physics of our platform and we'll do this within the update function. So the first thing that we want to do is check to see if our platform has been touched by the ball. And so I'm going to type if has been touched is true. And we also want to pair this with whether or not our rigid body is kinematic. And so I'm going to type double ampersand and then my RB dot is kinematic. So if both of these conditions are true, then we'll execute whatever we put inside this if statement. And so if we want the platform to start falling as soon as the ball touches the platform, then all we have to do is type my RB dot is kinematic and set it equal to false. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it so that the platform does not start falling until the ball has left the platform. And to do this, the easiest way would probably be to use the on collision exit function. But because the ball as it's rolling along the platform might leave the platform at any time too soon, it's more reliable to use the distance between the ball and the platform to guarantee that the ball has passed the platform. To do this, I'm going to add another if statement around this line of code, which is going to be if vector three dot distance, and we're going to pass in transform dot position for the position of this platform as the first parameter. And then the second parameter is going to be our ball transform dot position. I'm then going to compare the return value of the distance function to see if it's greater than 2f. And the reason why I'm using 2 is because that's the scale of our cube. And so now I'm going to add some curly braces around our is kinematic equals false line of code. And that should handle the physics of getting our platforms to start falling. Now let's handle the deletion of our old platforms. To do this, I'm going to add one more if statement inside our update function. And all we have to do is check to see if our transform.position.y is less than negative 10. Then inside this if statement, we can type destroy and then this dot game object. Now that should be everything that we need for this script. So let's go ahead and save it and we'll go back to Unity. Here inside Unity, all we have to do is click play to test our game. Now once again, we don't yet have a controller for our ball to start rolling. And so what we'll have to do is select our ball in the scene view and then move it across each platform segment. As our ball then leaves each platform, that ball should then begin to fall with gravity. But one thing I'm going to do beforehand is I'm going to disable the gravity on our ball. That way it won't fall off the path. And there you go. You can see how as our ball touches and leaves each platform segment, 
that platform then begins to fall. So that's everything that we're going to cover in this lesson on how to get the platforms to fall and how to delete old platforms. For the next lesson, I'll show you how to create the ball controller script so that we can start playing our game.